Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Ashley. If you're new here, make sure to give this video a like and hit that big red subscribe button if you want to stick around for more. So, it is currently Saturday. Let's see the date. January 23rd, T minus five days until I turn 24. That is insanity. It is clearly very sunny and I just did not park in the most well-lit spot here, but just went to Target, Home Goods, and HomeSense and did not buy anything from any of those three places, which is a massive shocker. I was looking for little props or this lady's car door is literally gonna whack the side mirror of this car. It is literally a half an inch away. Okay, I think we're good. I was looking for little photo props for a flat lay or just inspo in general. I'm shooting a mini campaign probably tomorrow to go up on Monday. It's called Drink Renewed and their packaging is super cute and everything and it's gonna be really fun to shoot. Okay, this woman has all four of her car doors open. I don't know what is going on here, but okay, we're, we're gonna give it to her. But yeah, I didn't find anything, which is totally fine. It's not like I like necessarily needed anything, but I just wanted to see if I could find anything to like compliment the products when I do take the photos. But yeah, all good. We will move on with the world. I am just gonna head back home and probably have a chill rest of the day. I was hanging out with Lily for a while. She fit me into her busy schedule. I was just editing a vlog earlier, trying to get on top of editing and uploading videos for the week. Does this woman see that I'm sitting in my car? Uh, no, I, I don't know, cause I can't even move. Oh my God. Well, good thing I have literally all the time in the world. Like I'll probably just be going out and getting dinner with the parents. Feeling a bit better today with everything going on with grad school. It's just, oh my gosh, it's just like a mess. Like I just wanna be able to start my courses and move on with my dandy life. But of course the pandemic is still very much a thing. So I'm just trying to stay positive. I don't know, I even stopped my mom yesterday and I was like, hey mom, like, can you please be honest with me about something? And like, please answer this honestly. And you know, of course she's like, sure. And I said, like, am I being naive because of how much I'm giving into trying to get this degree going and starting this degree, like, regardless of the pandemic? Like, am I naive and stupid for thinking that it's all going to work out? Like, for having this... I go through phases of being really, like, set, like, yeah, it's going to be fine. And then, of course, I have moments where I'm, like, super, 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 super hopeless. And she's like, no, I don't think you're being naive. So I don't know. I guess I just need that little like bit of validation because your girl needs to work on her internal self validation. But yeah, I'm gonna move on with my life. Gotta, gotta get home. up you guys happy monday i'm pretty sure the last clip i was going to put mascara on hello am i in focus good morning there we go i was gonna put mascara on and i just remembered that i was going to do so because i'm looking a bit rough didn't sleep the best last night one of those things but i'm pretty sure the last thing i showed you was a instagram collab that i filmed yesterday and it's actually going live today so I think I mentioned it, but it's going to be a giveaway. So head over to my Instagram if you're interested in the details. It's going until the end of the week. The brand is super cute and it was super fun to shoot. So 
all of that will be going up on my Instagram. I'll probably post some stuff over on my TikTok as well as I'm trying to get back into it, struggling very much so because I like had one account and then I just like, I don't know, like the algorithm, the for you page was like nothing of my interest. So then I was like, let me start another one. And that one actually did okay. Like views wise, like I say, okay. I mean like 50, a hundred, I don't know like 500 followers, like nothing crazy. And then a brand actually reached out to me to do a TikTok collab for my first account. So now I'm like back on my first account that has more followers, but the algorithm, like I, it's been a struggle because I've not been active. So I understand that the algorithm is not gonna be in my favor. But yeah, my espresso machine kind of is working, kind of not working. I tried using it yesterday for espresso for the collab that I was shooting. It was like, I made like a chaga chino. So I put like the mushroom powder, which is a lot coming for me because I actually hate mushrooms, but it tasted like, it tasted good. Like I would never be able to tell and mix it in with some espresso and some oat milk. And so it worked and then I actually just made a latte again. So I really don't know, like I hope it works, but this has been like a couple times now where it's like work for a couple days and then it won't and then I don't know. Anyway, let me see if I can put you guys down because we got stuff to chat about. I don't think it's necessarily a good thing that I balance you guys on candles. Well, obviously, obviously they're not burning, but I'm like kind of in frame. Okie dokie, let's get my blue light glasses on. Ever since the chat with my professor last week, I have been an anxious mess, second guessing literally everything about my life, my job, where I am, um, my degree, uh, just literally everything. And, um, you know, so anxiety thankfully has calmed down a bit since like Friday, Saturday, I want to say it was a bit, a bit wonky or no Thursday, Thursday, Friday, a little bit Saturday, felt like Saturday I was starting to do a little bit better. But I am genuinely just so sick of people uh, kind of destroying my hopeful narrative that Australia is going to let me in for my degree at one point this year. And people are like, oh yeah, they're not going to let you in until next year. And I'm like, that's great that you think that. And maybe the media has told you that. But let me have my hopeful narrative, please. Um, let me be hopeful because I feel so stupid for being this hopeful now. <clears throat> So I don't know, I've just been like overthinking everything this morning per usual and I'm like, I feel like I'm like not doing enough to try and get into the country, especially now knowing with obviously how important it is for me to actually be in Australia for my degree, to be hands on with all of my labs, my technicals, field work, things like that. So I, I just wish there was like someone in the government that I could contact and be like, please give me advice. Like, is there a way that an exception can be made? Oh, another thing. I'm sick of people telling me that, um, this isn't just a money rant. This is just to like help my anxiety right now. I'm so sick of people telling me, um, or tr like talking to me, like it's so easy to get into the country. Um, you know, like two ends of the spectrum, like one implying that I'm not trying hard enough to get into the country or two, uh, crashing down my hopes and dreams that I will not be let into the country. Whereas I'm kind of in the middle, like I'm part hopeful, part obviously very realist. So like I see both sides to an extent, but at the same time, like, mm. anyway, if there was someone in the government that I could just be like, hi, please give me advice. So many questions. Yeah, so I'm literally an anxious mess, but um, gonna drink my latte. I'm going to sort some things out. I don't really have anything planned for the day or the morning I should say. I have work over at Lulu tonight but besides getting up the posts and everything for Instagram I don't have anything crazy going on so I'm going to work on this and hopefully just, just chill with my anxiety. Happy Monday. Let's, let's calm it down please.
later now. I was about to do the next lesson for the Balance Boss course, which I've been loving by JC Marie Smith and Chelsea Jade Curtis. Love them both. Cup coffees later as well. My espresso machine has been working. I, I don't understand it. I'm not getting my hopes up though because well one, I'm still waiting for the representative to get back to me and two, it did not work at all last week. So it clearly the issue with the water pump is still there if for half the time I've had the product, it's not working. Anyway, moving on. It worked today thus far. But I kind of just took like a leap and I don't know, I've just been feeling you know, like I haven't been doing enough to try and get into Australia to do my degree. So catching up with the last clip that I filmed, I actually requested, formally requested with the Australian government an exemption to be let into the country. And I've been putting it off mainly because I was scared of them saying no, which I still think they will. I don't think they're gonna let me in regardless if I'm vaccinated or anything. But I, just for like peace of mind and my anxiety, I just wanted to know that I was doing the absolute most that I could. Submitted that, you know, uploaded documentation, things like that, because I do have my student visa. I obviously am enrolled. I am vaccinated, so super grateful. So anyway, we'll see. I'm not getting my hopes up, but uh, yeah, I just, just for my anxiety especially, I just wanted to know that I was doing the most that I possibly could. Um, because I just, this morning especially, I just kept feeling like there had to be something else I could do. And like, yes, obviously I knew that you could apply for an exemption. Um, like I haven't applied for one for New Zealand to go see my boyfriend because I know they're going to say no. Because they do have a thing where you can apply to get in if you are partners with someone from New Zealand, which obviously I am, but it has to be like legally documented, uh, like whether it's like with marriage or uh, like shared financial responsibilities, which, you know, we're not at that stage yet. Um, we haven't been able to live together. So those are some of the things that you need in order to even really apply for an exemption to be led to New Zealand and with the New Zealand Australian travel bubble right now where you can travel between the two. You still have to do the two week quarantine between the two, but it is allowed to help boost each other's economy. Wow, I sound like I actually know what I'm talking about <laughs> for once. But so if I get into one country, I can get into the other essentially is what I'm saying. So not getting my hopes up, but just for peace of mind, submitted that. Also, I use my University of Tasmania email, so maybe that makes me seem a bit more legit. Who knows? I don't know. We'll probably look at it and be like, oh, she's an American. No, thank you, but worth a shot. A bit later now and some updates. So, Lils, it's not dinner time yet. I am so terribly sorry. Still got a bit. I know, you still look adorable though. Didn't hear back from the Reveal, Reveal customer service, the nice woman I spoke to on the phone. And the time was cutting close to be able to return or exchange it through, cause I, well, my parents got it for me and my brother through William Sonoma. Cause at the time, like it was pretty sold out for the holidays. So I went through the little online form to do a replacement. So I'm going to send this out this one and just get a new one because I yes Lils I hear you because my mom made a good point like it was $300 and $300 isn't worth a machine that sometimes works so I don't blame her and I yeah we're going to send this out and they're gonna send a new one same exact thing and hopefully that one will be in tip-top shape because yeah honestly also i was expecting the whole return thing online to be a bit more detailed like literally it was like okay you want to return the item do you want a refund or do you want a replacement it's like yeah i just want a replacement let's try again and you know they had like a little drop in error like oh what's wrong with it and it's like oh there's something wrong with the water pump and then they're like oh put details in it and i'm literally writing this novel like paragraphs into detail about what I think is wrong with the water pump system and the buttons and literally like detailed examples and I go hit, go to hit submit and um 
They're like, yeah, 240 characters max, so I had to severely cut down, but I'm going to empty this out and make sure there's like no water or coffee grounds in it and then wrap this buddy up and send it off to get a new one. Oh,